Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director of Founder of Goldman and Associates, a firm as a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. Today we continue our video series designed to educate the public, so please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk about the issue where you're never married, you are separated, but during the relationship you develop joint bank accounts. You put money in savings, you put money in checking, checking for the household, savings for the future. You had all these grandiose plans about what your life was going to be like, so Part of that included the sharing of certain assets, but alas, it did not work out. So now it didn't work out, so what do we do? We've got the joint accounts. It says Jack and Jill's name on both of them. So we have credit cards, both names. Where does that leave us? The answer is that it's precarious. It's dangerous because you're like two partners who aren't married, just two like business associates, whatever, they have cards. The cards uh, or the accounts mean that either party can transact. If you have $50,000 in an account with a buddy of yours, he can walk into the bank, clear out the whole thing. The bank's got to give to him because he's on the account. The same with this scenario. The bank doesn't know or care that you guys have separated. All the bank knows is that they got two names on the account and they are duty bound to honor the re withdrawal request from either party. If you feel that you're at risk because somebody who you just broke up with might go to the bank and take out your money, then what you should do is take out half the money, the half that's yours. He can take his half and then you got no problem. You could say, well, gee, Mr. Goldman, I contributed 80% of the money, not 50%. Why should I only take half? Well, then, you know, take whatever you feel you can document. Take the amount of money that you feel you can, with evidence, show to the court that you are responsible for. And that doesn't mean pay slips that shows that you did it, or even deposit slips. Because you may have deposited most of the money, but it may have gone to fix your car. Or a lot of that money may have gone to improve the house that's in your name. So you see, it's not so simple. As a starting point, I would say, if you take half the money, nobody will complain. Nobody will say, well, that's overreaching. On the other hand, if you take all the money or most of the money, you're going to have to answer some difficult questions. You're going to have to answer, well, where do you get the temerity to take all the money when, when uh, on its face, it's, it belongs to both parties? And if it didn't belong to both parties, why'd you put it there? So, so in other words, you're going to have to answer that and you have to be prepared to answer that. The same with credit cards. You know, credit is a valuable asset. If you both share credit cards, it means you're both guaranteed to the bank that if they lend you money, you're both obligated to pay for it, which means that there's a joint credit card and somebody runs up the credit limit by either taking a huge cash advance or by running on an expensive vacation or by buying a car, God knows whatever they do, and they, and they just max out the credit card. As far as the bank is concerned, you still owe that card. And it's not that you owe half of it. The bank looks to both parties for all of it. So if, for example, you break up with someone because they never have a job, they never have any assets. So you break up with them and they take your joint credit card and cash it out. Or they take it and they buy a car for themselves and they leave. You can uh, say, complain to the bank all you want, but the bank is going to say, look, you're the one with the job. We're coming to you for the full payment of that 20 grand limit on that card, whatever the limit was. You say that you shouldn't have to pay, you go after him. That's your responsibility. That's your relationship. Whereas this, this is our relationship, and you owe us under that relationship. So you got to realize that that's the consequence. If you have any questions about that, of course, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out.